is my uh, peer, local peer, the one they call Ube. This thing has been there for many years and now it's not fruiting. About uh, eight years, nine years, not fruiting. I become a concern because some people say that if this peer does not grow outside, it doesn't fruit outside the southeast and this is not central. So I have to see whatever I can do to make this uh, peer fruit in the in this very north central. So what I did was I introduced a compost. I introduced a compost base. So this place I fill it with a, a lot of compost so that it will provide all the necessary nutrients that may might be required for the fruit like cashew that is required for uh, fruiting. Unfortunately, uh, as I put this termite entered and ate up the base, I can see this tree is dying. The tree is dying. And I wouldn't want to lose this uh, tree. I know what I did and effort I put in and all the time I put to get this rube here, this uh, pier here. But I, after all those things, I'm fortunate that uh, it has started for the first time, it gave me the fruit, which is uh, uh, my basic need. It gave me the fruit. It started fruiting for the first time. As you can see, this is the fruit. I don't know. Can you see it very well? This is the one that is here. Can you see it? I don't know whether to do this. So for the first time, it bear this uh, fruit and scattered all over it. But unfortunately, um, uh, thermite ate up this, and now I'm losing this tree. What should I do in this uh, uh, type of uh, situation? So what I have to see a way to propagate, to get this original tree through stem propagation. Stay connected to see how I go about it. Thanks. This is the the ube the fruit the fruit already uh, the fruit you can see it is the fruit already uh, in this very tree and it's scattered like this but unfortunately the tree is dying you can see the ube the fruit is a uh, I started fruiting. Can see the fruit. See another one. It's very clear. You can see this one. Is the uh, another fruit? You can see it's already fruiting. But the tree is dying. I wouldn't want to lose this tree. I wouldn't want to lose this tree. So I have to propagate the stem. Get the original tree back through stem propagation. And now I've uh, already done that. You can see the base. You can see. So already I've done. The stem propagation, you can see the it has already started. So with this, I'm going to cut off this and plant and plant to regain the original tree. Stay connected. I have to cut off this and plant. Close your eyes.
You can see it has started it has made the base the root so with this i'm going to plant this and it's going to replace these two the same thing goes to this one this is the second one i'm going to i'm going to plant them and it will replace this subscribe to this channel if you have not done that hit on the notification button so that anytime i make an upload you get notified stay connected so this is my dying uh, pier, local pier, the one we call the Ube in Igbo land. You can see this is dying, you can see, it's dying, you can see, it's dying, it's not doing well. But I wouldn't want to lose this because a lot of effort has been put. So I have propagated it through the stem, I can see I have gotten the roots here. So with this root here, I'm going to plant it and I'm going to regain my, my tree. I'm going to have a, a duplicate of the tree. So I'll cut it like this, yeah. I'll cut. Then I'm going to open the, I'm going to untie the base. Remove all those. Hello. I'm going to untie the base. You can see, see the, the roots, very nice, so this root is now what we now drive this, and with this I will not, I'm not going to lose my, I'm not going to lose this, so I'm going to make video to explain further how I produce something like this, I'm going to make video to show how I made something like this. Stay connected. So, now I'm planting it. I'm planting it. See the depth? Can see it? See the depth? And this is the compost. The compost are prepared. So this compost is going to uh, uh, allow for uh, easy development of the, the root. It will enable the roots to grow faster. All the nutrients that are required are already contained in this compost. And then because it's soft, it's going to give easy penetration. Easy penetration for the root development. Once the root is uh, covered, the root starts growing well. Every other thing follow.
So get one more bucket of compost. One more bucket of compost. So you can see filling up the remaining portion with the compost. Now I have enough compost. So this compost will enable the uh, tree to survive. Now I'm putting the topsoil. I'm covering the remaining one with the topsoil. You can see how it's been done. And remember, the best time to do this type of transplant is through, during the rainy season. Rain just fell yesterday. So with this, uh, this is the best time to do it. The soil is uh, very soft and contains a lot of water, not dry. With this, you can see in about three weeks' time, this uh, I'm going to give you an update three weeks' time about this, how far this has gone in three weeks' time. So, get water. Uh, I ask that you do me a favor by subscribing to the channel, like the video, share the video, so that anytime I make an upload, you'll be the first to see the upload. Stay connected. God bless you. So the last aspect of it is going to be watering. I'm going to put water. Water to make sure that uh, there is enough water for the roots to commence expansion growth. It's okay. So bring the use the shovel, open the soil, open it small so that the water can enter the uh, roots. Open it. Uh, yes, open it like that. The other side. Open it. Open it very well. Open the other side. Yeah, so you can now pour water. Pour water. Small, 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 small. So uh, let it enter. Let it. So this is well drained soil. See the water going deep? This well drained soil. Open the other side that remain. So the water drained down. Yeah, pour the water, remain the one. You can see the water going down. So that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.